Yo, 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 what's up, MG fam? It's your boy, Coach McGraw, from back. Back with another episode of the Miami Dolphins Rebuild here on Madden 25, man. Using updated rosters and imported draft classes from NCAA 14, we well away in this season, man. It's week five, and we will be going up against the San Diego Chargers, who are currently sitting at 3-1. and one. Same record as us, so it should be a very competitive game. And we're looking for my boy Haskins to come up and show out again. But hey, we're going up against a stout defense, the number 12 ranked defense in the country. Also in the lead, they have one of the best offenses, ninth offensive ranked team. So we're ready to get this game started. Let's get it, baby. Heading on to the Sunlight Stadium and doing our thing. Let's go. So we here at kickoff, baby. We ready to do our thing, and let's go with it. So we kick it off, and yes, sir, a deep kick there. I don't believe they're going to take it out of the end zone. Benjamin will take a knee, and we'll be going for it. Let's go. So coming out is Kyle Orton. He's having a pretty decent season. Almost 1,000 yards already in four games. Three touchdowns and one interception. And let's go with it. So they got Melvin Gordon back there in the backfield. We're going to shift the defense, see if we can get on top of him. Yes, sir. A little bit of pressure up front, but he able to get the ball out of his hands and a nice tackle there on the first play. And hey, we got to keep at it this game. We have to be disciplined, and we have to come with it. So as you guys can see right here, Kyle Orton, man, three TDs, one interception, 63 completion percentage, man. That's pretty good to start the season off. So he steps back, and he finds Benjamin on the outside. Man, he ran over one of the defenders, and it was able to get the first down. 15-yard reception from the kid, Benjamin. And, man, we got to be more, more disciplined on tackling than that. So, 37, they coming with it. See if we can get a stop here early on. They got a screenplay running. Melvin Gordon got it right here, and he's looking to do a little bit something with it. Gets the first down, and, man, big first down for him, 13-yard reception, and we ready to try to get another stop, man. Another third down here late in the drive. Try to get a stop here, see if we can get the ball back. And they hand it off to Gordon out of the backfield. And yes, sir, we are there on top of them. And that is a fourth down here. And hopefully we can get this ball back and put the first points on the board. So the punter is out here right now. Let's see what he going to do. Oh, he faces to the up back. And my goodness, he gets the first down. The kid Watt gets the first down. Pretty gutsy play by the offense right there. I guess that's why they're 3-1 and one, because they take chances. All right, so they got trips to one side here, man, and Orton drops back, and he finds Allen right there with the grab. He breaks one tackle, and, man, he made one guy miss, and luckily we were able to take him down there. So that was a 25-yard reception from Keenan Allen. These guys are threatened to score right now. We got to be able to get a stop here, man. Another big stop would be great for us. Let's go. So he drops back one more time, and he launches it to the left side of the field, and Screet gets there, and he gets the touchdown, man. A score on the first drive for these guys. They went for it on fourth down. And, man, that was the right call for them. So we're going to get it back here with two minutes left in the first quarter. Let's see what we can do as an offense. Come on, Haskins. Let's see if we can get some points on the board. The play action is there. Haskins find the running back out of the backfield. And Mayer was able to get seven yards on that grab. So let's go with it. So he coming back with it. We're going to go up the middle with it uh, with the rookie running back here. He's our four screen running back. And Jackson finds some room and get a first down there, man. We may end up starting Jackson over the kid Perry back there because Jackson has a little bit more agility. I know he's not experienced, but hey, he might get us over the hump with, for this um game here since we have a lot of injuries. And my goodness, he found some room there and was able to get another first down for us, man. I like the way he read his blocks. You can see right here he know how to get out of the you know trash and get into the middle and get a first down. Alright, so we're coming out here. Man, third down conversions has been working our way this so far in this game, man. So let's see what we got. Haskins drop back. A little screen play there and Jackson gets takes down in the backfield so fourth and 18 man we're gonna have to get the ball back to these guys so here with six minutes left these guys are pushing it again down the field looking to score another touchdown let's see what we got here so he goes up the middle Jackson we able to get a big stop there second and nine five tackles from the kid McMillan and he's been having a big day on the defensive side of things so Orton got him back in almost the red zone man so we need to get some pressure so we got some pressure coming but my goodness Williams catches that one and dies for for a 19-yard game, we got to be able to stop these guys. Six completed passes in a row. We got to do better in the secondary, man. We're getting torched out here. So Gordon go up the middle, and we get a fumble. Oh, my goodness. The luckily, the offensive lineman of the Chargers is able to get on top of that. We're holding Melvin Gordon down today. Ten carries on only... 
24 yards, man, that's that's kind of tough for him, but the offense still is moving the ball. So Orton drops back. He launches one to Benjamin, and he keeps two feet in bounds and gets the first down. Three receptions for 36 yards for him, man. This little scatting wide receiver of Travis Benjamin is killing us today, man. So Melvin is probably going to look to go up the middle with this. So he's going to call an audible here, and, yes, he hands it off to Melvin, but we're there on the defense, and McCain takes him down. Big tackle there from the DB, bro. So they're going to kick a field goal here. They're going to try to go up by two scores before the half is out. And we're going to see if we can get some pressure off the edge or maybe up the middle here. Maybe he misses the field goal. And it's up, and it's good, man. It's good. 10-0. to We cannot get shut out in the first half. So we're going to come back on this next drive and try to get a score. So we're going to run straights all drive probably, man. Let's see what Haskins got. His arm is strong enough, and he find Herndon right there. And a big grab from Herndon to get us a first down. And we got somebody injured. Hopefully it's not our player. Yes, it is. Herndon is out. Seemed like I hope he's not out for the whole game. So let's go. See what we got here. First and 10 with one minute and 20 seconds left. And we'll see if we can get a score. So he finds our Sega White side across the middle. And that's a big grab there from the rookie wide receiver. This kid stepped up in big spots this year already to start the season with all the injuries we have on this team. He's able to step up. So Haskins dropped back again and he finds his favorite target again with White side. Almost had a score there. That would have been huge for the two rookies there. That rookie rookie connection is really working for us right now, baby. It's really working for us. So we coming back out with first and goal. 53 seconds left, man. It took us not too long to get up here to the score. So Haskins looking like he's going to roll out with it. And yes, sir, he got some room. So it's a touchdown. Haskins going there for the seven points. And yes, sir, that's exactly what we needed. A score before the half to keep us in this game. We don't want to go into the half with zero on the board, baby. Big touchdown there. And we're going to have time with the score being 10 to 7. These guys are killing us in every facet of the game. 135 yards passing. We got to be able to slow down that passing game if we believe we're going to win this one. We got to slow it down. So let's go, baby. So to start the second half, we got to be disciplined on defense. Play those passing lanes for where he's going to throw those balls at, man. We cannot give up any big gains. So let's go. So first and 10 here with four minutes left in the third quarter. And he's going to hand it off to Gordon. And then Gordon finds a little room to the edge, but he trips up and falls seven yards backwards, baby. That was a lucky play for us. That's what we needed, baby. Let's see what we got here. So Kyle Orton's bringing the offense back out for one more go at it with second and 17. A lot of yards to go. And Melvin finds some room. And my goodness, we were able to close in on him, but he was able to get six yards. We are holding him to a, a low gain this, this game here, baby. So five for eight, 62%. God, that's a great day for the offense to get them to conversions like that. Let's see if we can stop him right here. My goodness, Williams is wide open. He going down the sideline, and that's another score. We're getting killed again. Just like I said, we can't give up big gains. We cannot give up big gains. That one hurt. That was a knife in the spine, and we got to be able to rebound from that one, baby. So we're coming back. They got it again here with seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. They're up by two scores still, and Melvin Garvey going to get a hand off there, but we were able to get on top of it. He's not able to find much room he's seeming like he's trying to run over one play and trying to get a big game but we gotta wrap up just like we did just now so let's go we're going with it one more time here and let's see if we can get something they're coming out with four wide outs but they hand it off to the back and melvin garden runs forward and falls forward and gets almost a first down with 30 inches here let's see if we can get a stop here baby we need a big turnover so we can get back into this game let's see what we got so jackson gets it here and he breaks the tackle and man we laid him out and somebody's injured again baby it's on their side this time kid ain't even moving hopefully it's okay let's go so first and 10 six minutes 30 seconds left like i said we need a turnover baby can we get a big stop can we get a big stop orton is looking for somebody he finds allen allen grabs that one and almost gets out of bounds so these guys are perfect in the red zone today three receptions for allen with 41 yards man let's see if we can get a stop here so we're gonna slam up front and see if we can confuse the offensive line and they hand it off to gordon and yes sir a big tackle right there to stop those guys third and four big tackle from the dbs but they're trying to get wide here they're trying to get wide so they can break out for a big game try to get in this end zone so this is a big stop for us so we can get it right here let's see what we got here see if we get some pressure up front orton drops back he seems patient and we got our hands on him baby finally finally able to get our hands on Orton, and yes, sir, that's what we need. Hopefully he can miss this field goal. If not, we'll take three points instead of seven any day, baby. Four minutes and 50 seconds left. Let's see if he kick it up through the uprights, and yes, sir, he's perfect on the day, two for two, and that puts these guys up 20 to seven. 
with four minutes left. So we're going to have to score on this drive. It's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We don't have a much time to play around with it. So Howard gets it out the end zone. And my goodness, he finds some room. He don't have much of wheels, though. He looking like he's giving up. He's gassing for air right now. And he gets trailed by maybe a linebacker. Come on, man. You got to get your, your stamina up, bro. You got to get your stamina up. And he's injured, too, man. That's a lot out of him. It's one of our top cornerbacks, but we needed that big game right there so we can get his scoring position. So Haskins dropped back on this one and looked like he finds a slant across the middle for Steals. Big grab there for Steals. 12 yards receiving. And we're looking like we're trying to score, man. Look at Orton. Orton having a wonderful day. And Haskins, not a bad day, but not a lot going on, baby. So Haskins dropped back one more time with it, and he finds nothing but Reuben Foster intercepted across the middle. And my goodness, that one hurt there. That one hurts there, man. That probably could have been our last hope to get back into this game. But, hey, we're not giving up yet. So we got the ball back here again. And he finds still on the out route. Let's go. And that's a big grab right there. Come on. Can we get a score? Luckily, we got the ball back with two minutes left. I believe we can score in less than a minute so we can get the ball back. Let's go, guys. So we run the slants right here. And he finds Arcega across the middle, his favorite target, like I always say. Arcega, big grab there from the young fella. So let's go with it, baby. Second and two. One minute and 48 seconds seconds left Haskins drop back and he finds Arcega but he drops it man that would have been a big grab for the young fella that would have been a big one a huge grab 33 percent on converting third downs today we got to get this one if we want to stay into this one, man so let's see Haskins find Arcega and he drops it again the freshman dropped two big passes back to back we need something out of you fella we need something out of you so Jackson in the backfield here let's see if we get the first down yes sir the young fella puts his head down against the first down but we only have one minute and 36 seconds left so get back to the ball and we're gonna call an audible here and yes sir we're gonna run a little slant here let's see what we got come on guys drop back let's see what we got roll out Haskins take your time take your time and he finds someone O'Leary and I believe he dropped that one too so we're only 50% in the red zone so see what we can get here now so we're gonna have an inside post going with our Sega and Haskins finding him across the middle and that's a big touchdown baby that's what I'm talking about finally after two drop passes he's able to reel in a touchdown big grab from the rookie and that's what we're talking about let's go so we're going to go with an onside kick here, man. See if we can get the ball back. If not, we still got three times out. So Williams get on top of that one. Man, he got hands, and we know it from that big grab he did earlier. And we're going to try to see what we can do here. So first and ten for these guys. We cannot give up any first downs if we want to get this ball back. So emotion is the fullback. Let's see what we got. So we can't get a push up front, and Melvin is going with it. And my goodness, that should have been a backfield tackle we would have had enough pressure but hey he was able to get five yards on that first down so let's see if we can get a stop here baby please don't give up the first down let's go guys let's get it we at home we gotta get the crowd pumped and melvin goes on the outside and my goodness he runs over one player and that's it guys that is it and we lost it looked like we lost this game because we done use up all of our timeouts. They about to kneel it, and my goodness, man. We were just there that close. Playing against a top team in the NFL, we got to be able to come back or close out. We got to get an early start on offense to win these types of games. We cannot continue to fall behind early. If so, it's going to be an uphill battle. But that was a great game from Kyle Orton. You can see here, 238 yards, two TDs, and 90% complete. Oh my goodness, this kid barely probably dropped, you know, threw two passes in the dirt, bro. So let's look at Dwayne Haskins stat here. 55 QBR, 14 for 25, 158 yards, one TD, two interceptions. A tough game, but the rookie, you know, it's rookie challenges that he has. So in our backfield, we know our starting running back is hurt. So the backup's out here trying to do the second screen running back and the fourth screen running back. But Deion Jackson had a pretty good game. He may start next game for us. 55 yards on only seven carries compared to 10 attempts from Perry with only 17 yards. And I'll say white side, man, he's doing his thing. Five receptions on 83 yards. Big game for him. He is the X factor when it comes to the offense. We got a lot of injuries on in our wide receiver uh, core, man. It's it's kind of tough for us. It's kind of tough. So now let's check out the team stats, man. The team stats, man, offensively, it was kind of a struggle for both teams to get a lot going, but it was almost at 300 yards total offense. We only had 240. The running game for both teams was not 
you know, existing this game. <laughs> no existence of it. And also the passing yards. These guys, they would get 218. We struggled in the passing game and the running game. So that's the main reason why we lost, man. That's the main reason. Turnovers were about even. We couldn't. We couldn't even afford one this game because if we were trying to win, we had to capitalize on all turnovers. And these guys' red zone percentage was better than ours in a third down conversion. And the possession of time double ours, man. So it was a tough game for the Miami Dolphins. But I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell. And holler at your boy, MG fam. Let's get it.